able to uh, do this as fast as I'm doing it. I'm doing it as a demo. However, if you keep pausing this video while you're doing it, it will work. Okay. This is a resume that we have for this young man um, on the screen. As you can see, we have the paragraph markers on. Whenever you hit the Enter key, that shows. Sometimes you might want to shut it off. As you can see, the font being used here is Courier New 12. I want to set the font globally throughout. I click on Select All. Then I go over here. I change the font. I want to make it Arial. Click on that on there. The top of the resume, we would want to have stand out a little bit more. So I highlight those lines, center, bold, make it larger. On it. And if you look here, we're going to see a couple of minor typos. Mr. Johnson did not put in the parentheses before his area code. One thing I will say, this is a fictitious person. This street doesn't even exist in Westport. We want to do some formatting now. We want to make things stand out. When you're doing your own resume, you might want to do your own styles, but I want you to get an overview of how this works. To highlight qualifications, we get a right-pointing white hour. We're going to make it bold and underlined. We do this with work history. We we're going to strive for visual consistency in here. Education. Okay. Next thing we want to discuss, we want to talk about bulleting. When I go in here and I go to the bullets, you don't have to highlight everything. You can see how the blue is in the middle here. I want to choose a style bullet. I go up to the paragraph section, click on that little drop-down arrow. shows different styles. I could do Coca-Cola labels here. You don't want to make it too funky, but let's say we like the square bullet. Looks good. Now, the bullets now are indented. I want them even under the Q and qualifications. I decrease the indent. When you hold your mouse on the tooltip, it tells you what it's doing. Okay, next thing I want to do, I'm going to make this a bullet. It remembers the style that we did. However, we have to decrease indent. Also, when you're doing a resume, you don't want the paragraphs too long. People like short bullet points. So I'm just going to click here, hit the Enter key. I hit go over here, I hit the Enter key. Next thing that we look at, you all know the red underline means a misspelled word. Okay, triaxle, that deals with the industry. But if we look here, we see trans and port. It's one word. We've got to get rid of it. I click get rid of it with the backspace key there. Next thing, I'm going to do the bullet here. And then decrease the indent. Again, I'm going to hit the Enter key. Scroll down. I'll do a bullet here. Reduce the indent, put that on a second line, go over here, bullet, decrease indent. Okay, you can see it's going to a second page. Let's not worry about that now. Let's bullet this too. Looks good. Makes it easier for the eye to skim the page. Okay, next thing that I want to talk about, we have tabs. As I said, we got the paragraph markers on. Do you see these little arrows here? That's pressing the tab key on the keyboard. What we're trying to do is to get the year over here, the title, as I slide the mouse here, over here, and the company there. We want them all to align. Don't use the space bar, especially if you're ever setting up columns with names, addresses, titles, yada, yada. So I'm going to click inside here. I go up to the ruler. If you don't have the ruler, you click on this guy to view the ruler. It's gone. It's back. I take my mouse. I click on about two inches inside the two. And then I click on maybe four and a quarter. You can see how the text is moving over. Looks nice. Now what I want to do, I want to put these tabs up in previous lines. The easy way to do this is to use the format printer. I could click in every line, but it might be off by a hair. You're striving for perfection or what I would say complete visual consistency. So I go here on the little brush here. That's not the paste brush. When you paste, that's this guy here. Okay, so hold your mouse and you get the tooltips. I click on the brush here. I'm in that line. I take my mouse, I click in here. I click on the brush, I click in here. Oops, if it doesn't work, just go back and do it. I want the title indented. 
So you can see how we have the visual consistency. Okay, I don't want to look at the paragraph markers. If you are typing, it can be a little bit difficult on the eyes. I shut this off. Okay, so I look here. It's going off the page just a little. Not a big deal. Next thing, let's say I want to add some nice visual formatting here. Let's say I want a long, fancy line going underneath here. When you do a resume, don't go overboard, but I'm going to show you a few tricks here. I'm going to click on this line. I want a double border going underneath. So to do that, we click on Page Layout. Do you see what it says Page Borders? We click on that. Now we have three tabs, Borders, Page, Border, and Shading. Page Border will put a rectangle around the whole page. Not what we want. We're going to click on Borders. We have different styles. I could use something, anything in here that I want. It gives me a sample there. I could change the color if I want. We get a lot of nice colors here. I always tell people stick with black and white on the resume. Let's keep it that way. You could change the width a little bit. I can make it two and a quarter point if I want. Now I want this line just to be underneath here. So all I do is I click and check these off. Just put your mouse right in there. I say okay. I got that. Let's say I want a line on top. I click inside the line that I want to do it. Don't highlight the text page borders make sure you go to borders okay and then we want to find the style that we had before and you don't want it to be too cartoony but I have the opposite of this two and a quarter so this will go across for David Johnson on top of him so I have to undo these boxes so I've got that now it's going off the page. I want to print preview this, okay? I click on the print preview, which I have over here. If I don't have that, I could click over here, go to print, print preview. Okay, now what I am want to do, I want to see both pages. I click on the zoom. I go to two pages like this, shows two pages in here. I say, okay, okay, a little bit going off the page. Doing something like resume, you could take off references furnished on request if you want to. Easy way to do this though, I just click on shrink one page, shrink to fit. I click on that, all on one page now. Close out of the print preview. When I click inside here, let's go to the home tab that shows the font. It's now 11 point, it's no longer 12. This is 13. So instantly you've got something that is all on one page. End of lesson.